Hey everyone, Pete from LA Doors and More, and today I'm going to show you how to replace a commercial steel hollow metal door. And there are two different ways to do this. One is to get a pre-hung door and replace this whole jam. And I address that in another issue. But many times you don't need to do that. You can replace just the door. So before I explain how to do that, let's take a look and see why we need to replace this. The lower hinge, and as you can see out through the door, beautiful Pacific Ocean. This is oceanfront property on the rooftop. So we have a lot of rust. So here's what has happened. That hinge has rusted shut and it has seized. So the hinge won't move and people are trying to slam the door and it has destroyed the metal in there. Once that happens, there's no way to fix this. It has to be replaced. In order to replace these commercial steel hollow metal doors, you need to know of a door supplier, specifically one that specializes in these types of doors. First, take your measurements. And when I measure the width of this door, I see that it's just under 36. It'll be between 35 and a half and 35 and three quarters. Now I know that most standard commercial hollow metal doors are right there at about 35 and three quarters because obviously these things can't be shaped or sanded or cut. So I know that I'm good there. And I also know from working on these that these commercial doors are usually around 79 inches. So there it is, it's 79 and an eighth, we'll call it 79. And I also know that the standard size for these new doors is right there, 79 and an eighth. The location of the hinges, because there are about five or six different types of manufacturers for these types of doors, and they each have different hinge locations. And the first hinge is seven and three eighths from the top of the door. And then I take the location of the second hinge and the third hinge, and I write those down. Then you go to a hollow metal door supplier. I have a hollow metal door, it's 35 and three quarters by 79 and an eighth. And the hinge locations are whatever measurements you've taken. And then they will recommend a replacement door. So if all goes well, you should be able to replace it without a lot of work. So here's the new door I ordered based on that. We said our first hinge is around seven and three eighths. So now we look at it and there we are, seven and three eighths. So we know we have the right type of door. Sometimes one hinge has a little bit of an issue and you just have to deal with it. And I'll explain how you do that later. Because I know this is a highly corrosive area that we're dealing with, we've requested stainless steel ball bearing hinges. So hopefully they'll last longer. One last thing you also need to note. So you measure from the top of the door down to what's called the bore hole. And ours is 39 and a half. So from the top of our door to the middle of our lock is 39 and a half, because that can vary. So that's another measurement you need to know. And also the back set. From the edge of our door to the center of our lock is two and three quarters, which is standard for commercial doors. So to review. You're gonna check height, width, and thickness of your door. This is an inch and three quarters door. Then you're gonna check your three hinge locations from the top of the door. Also your hinge size. These are four and a half inch hinges, which is standard for a commercial door. Check your bore location from the top of the door and then your back set. And whenever a door has a closer on it, I'm gonna leave the closer since this is all working. I wanna mimic these uh, measurements, so I'll take those later, but I don't wanna take everything apart. There's no need to. So the easiest thing to do is just unscrew it right here. And I can pop this out. And that closer appears to be working. I don't know if these hinge pins are even gonna come out. I don't even know if these screws are gonna come out. They wouldn't come out because they're rusted in there. I had to just drill them. Typically with the new hinges, we want to use these little machine screws. 
and they would go right in here. But these doors have probably been replaced at one point. They use these old screws in here, which tells me they couldn't use these, so they just screwed right through those and into the wood behind it, which is fine. But it means we have to drill out each one of these and then get screws like these, but that are longer and bigger. Get that thing out. Now of all these holes, this was the only one of which I could remove the screw. So we're gonna use the little machine screw in there. And these others will have to use wood screws. And you see this set screw? That means it's an NRP, a non-removable pin. So in order to get this pin out, we have to put an Allen wrench in there and remove that. And that's very common with commercial hinges. I'm using this new screw because there's wood behind here. And by using a new longer screw, I can get to the wood behind it and set that thing in. Now, let's say you couldn't do that. Let's say there was concrete behind there and that simply wouldn't work. Here's what I would try to do. Try to get one or two screws in there. For the top hinge, it's critical you have them all, but sometimes the bottom or middle hinge, one or two screws will work. Another thing you can do is use a, a different hinge that has a different hinge pattern, and then you could drill new holes. So I would use the, and this has the C shape. There are uh, hinges that have the zigzag. So you could drill new holes in there and get a tap and die set and actually tap the frame. Another option would be to install a continuous hinge. And in my opinion, it's the best option. And I have videos explaining exactly how to do that. Now, most times when I'm replacing doors in condos, apartments, and it's an entry door like this, um, these have to be fire rated. So you look at the old door and see what the code is. Here's the label for the old door. We couldn't see it. So you have to ask the HOA what their requirements are. In most cases, it's 60 minute. In this case, they wanted a 90 minute. So if you see right here, this is actually a three hour fire door, 270 minute. I just put one or two screws in each hinge just to hold it there. And I'm gonna put this hinge on the top of the door and then we'll test fit the door. Pins are gonna be facing outside. So this is the outside of our door. So obviously, so the hinge has to go on like this, but it comes with these plates and these are reversible. So just take a putty knife or something and you pry out these little tabs and you turn it around. So we wanna put this here and then we'll put our hinge in and that gives a nice solid thing. And of course I use my standard door hanging procedure with half the hinge on the top jam and half the hinge on the top of the door. I hang the door on that top hinge and insert the hinge pin. Then I swing the door into position and put one or two screws in the middle and lower hinges. Then we can test the door. If you're putting in any of the hinges in the door and they don't quite line up, and here's a trick. Just loosen these a little. If you loosen these and loosen these, then you can get the hinge on the door, then tighten up one or two here, then tighten up one or two here. Because even though these dimensions line up, they can sometimes just be off by a sixteenth of an inch and you gotta just wiggle and shake and just kind of work it in there. Sometimes I've even had to take a Dremel and just cut a little edge off the side of the door just to get something in there. But that's it, we got all our hinges in. Just take your daughter to work during virus week. Installing that lock. The hinges secured, reinstalled the lock, just tested everything's working lines up perfectly everything's good so the last thing we're going to do is reinstall the closer three and a half inches from the top seven and seven eighths from the edge and seven and seven eighths so i got the closer reattached with just one screw on each side pull this back into place i'll just hand thread that 
And let's just see if it works. You can charge whatever you want to do this because no one else knows how to do this. No one is going to take the time to come out here, measure, price the doors, order the doors, and come out here and get it done. I do that. You could do this.